In this episode, we are going to discuss about modes of treatment for diabetes. When we plan therapy for diabetes, we always look at certain considerations. One, what is the age of the patient when the diabetes has started? Two, what is the type of diabetes the patient has, whether it is a type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, or whether the patient has developed diabetes during pregnancy. Uh, second, are there any other comorbid conditions like a liver problem, kidney problem, or any other medical ailments which can affect the treatment for diabetes? And lastly, what is the duration of the diabetes that the patient has? We have drugs now which can target at different levels the therapy of diabetes. So we have drugs which can retard the absorption of carbohydrates from the gut and hence bring the blood sugars down or we can enhance the insulin secretion from the pancreas. We have also have drugs which can make the insulin more sensitive in the body and hence they are called as insulin sensitizers. Then we have another group of drugs what we call as incretins. The actions of the incretins are to secrete hormones from the gut which enhance the secretion of insulin from the pancreas. It also is responsible for weight loss and hence is very beneficial when we use it for treatment of diabetes. We have now a new class of agents what we call as SGLT2 inhibitors which increase the secretion of glucose from the kidneys and that's how they bring the sugars down. And finally we have an old time tested therapy which is the insulin therapy which remains a mainstay for all our diabetic patients. If you have type 1 diabetes, we know that this patient has no insulin secretion and hence they will require insulin right at the onset itself. Type 2 diabetics, they do have some residual function of the pancreas, they make insulin and that's why they may benefit from oral medications. But at a later point of time, as the disease progresses, there is a gradual reduction of secretion of insulin from the pancreas and ultimately these patients may also require insulin for treatment. Please also bear in mind that we always have to titrate the dose of the oral medications based on what the blood sugar values are. So we start with a smaller dose, see how they respond in terms of their blood sugar control and we up titrate the drug dosage till we achieve a target goal. Now it may happen that we may require a lot of oral medications and yet the patient may not be at goal and at that point of time we may introduce insulin into the therapy. Or it may happen that initially the patient has been well controlled on oral medications. As time progresses the body fails to respond to the oral medications and then gradually you find that this patient shifts on to insulin therapy. I hope you found this video informative. Stay tuned to our channel. Do like our videos and please offer comments and suggestions.